Hi all, this is a uh, Toshiba Satellite L50-C-1XP and um, we thought it just got corrupt and Windows had failed but I've tried to reinstall now, oh, this is the second occasion and I would say definitely without a uh, shred of a doubt that the hard drive has failed. So I'm going to replace the hard drive. Um, the CD-ROM I've put in the, the disc, I know I've been tested because I put it on another machine and it works fine. So if you stay with me, I will show you how to um, change the hard drive. We're going to change, I think it's an IDE in this one. I haven't took it apart yet, so I'll let you know. And we're going to change it for an SSD one. Okay, cheers. Okay, in order to remove uh, the, the whole back of this machine to get the hard drive, which is over here, uh, what we need to do is undo these two screws here and remove the battery. And then this screw and then that'll um, under the keyboard. This one, this will be for the CD-ROM drive and then all the other main screws. Okay, that one there of course. And then uh, we've got to prize the back off. So I'll come back to you once I've got the screws and everything out. Okay, two screws removed. Battery swaps out. A little bit tricky. Sorry about the camera shake. It was a bit tricky on your own when you only got one. All the screws, by the way, are the same size. Okay, so you what doesn't matter. I get them mixed up. Okay, and then slide out the CD-ROM drive. And what I'll do now, I'll just go around the rest of the screws, which is pretty straightforward. And then I'll start removing the, the base. Okay, with the parting tool, we just slide it. Sorry. Just in there, this isn't a parting tool, but this is a demonstration, okay? But with the parting tool, but you can use as long as it doesn't damage the thing. If you just put it in and just bring it forward slightly, okay, it'll undo the clips without damaging it. That's all it is. You just pull in the base, you're pushing the base in away from the from the from the from the actual main board. Okay, and that should separate. And I'll just go around doing that now. Okay, all I've done is the front, and lo and behold. It's that simple. Okay, so here's the hard drive. The focus not very good on this. Hold on a second, folks. So this is the hard drive. What we're going to do with this, just slide it forward. See, it's only a rubber case and it's cased in. And then we're going to change it for an SSD one. So if I can do it by holding the camera, I'll show you. So it should just slide forward. I'll, be, I'll, I'll better get back to you two seconds. Okay, there is two rubber lugs. One here, pull forward. This one, pull forward. It'll slide out the hole, and then just gently slide it forward. Sorry, did you get that? Very difficult one, ended. Okay, so the two rubber lugs. One there, one there. Lift, and slide the whole drive forward. Okay, and then this just this rubber casing just comes off. So I'm going to replace that now, and we'll put the new drive in. Back to you in a sec. Okay, one well, SSD drive. You have to bear with me with this, but if you can see how it fits, just slide it back in. These will go back in the locating holes at the side, and then I will put back in the drive itself. Hold on a sec. Okay, piece of cake. Put it back in the rubber casing the way you took it out. Slide it forward. Fits. And then push back in the two rubber lugs. And then in reverse. This is, I must admit, this is one of the most easiest laptops I've ever worked on. Okay. Put the screws back in and we'll give it another go. I'll also film putting Windows 10 on to make sure it does work properly as well. So I'll get back to you in a second. Okay, Windows is starting to boot. So we get this screen. I know you can see me in the reflection, sorry about that. I need to get a tripod here. Okay, so we're going to change to... Wait for it to come down. United Kingdom. Next, 
install now. This is where we got an error because um, I started to delete all the partitions and then it started to load Windows and I don't think it found the hard drive. Even though I could delete all the partitions on the drive, um, I presume that the hard drive is faulty, but we'll know. So. Okay, so we agreed to the licensing terms. Next. Go to Custom, Install Windows Advanced. Uh, I'm going to delete all the partitions. So just highlight it, delete. Okay. Partition 1, delete. I missed that, didn't I? Delete, yep, yeah, sorry. Okay, and then final partition, that's it then. So then we go next. Now it's copying Windows files it starts off with. Now on the installation I did before, it took absolutely forever. Uh, so it's gone that pretty quick. And then we didn't get any percentage moving on this part. So I'll wait and see. Hopefully it is the hard drive. 1% already. So it looks like, yeah, it was definitely the hard drive, which I've replaced an IDE with a SSD. So the big difference between the IDE is, is the IDE is moving parts, the SSD is almost like a USB stick. Okay, thanks for watching, hope you find the video useful. Um, if you do, please subscribe. And um, any comments you want to leave, please leave, leave down below. Cheers!